Alright, um, hey, this is Chris Craft. Um, doing a little thing about Black River trucks for people that just bought them. Um, the lighting looks really good right now, I know. Um, back to the trucks. Alright, so, what this is all about is, um, when, when you first get your book, Black River trucks, uh, they're really, really tight. You can't really move them at all. And, um, <coughs> yeah, you can't move them, like, one bit. And, uh, the thing that I learned from a special someone named Caesar Korea is, uh, just like real skateboarding trucks, that's how Black River trucks are, is, uh, if you tighten them as hard as you can, uh, it's gonna break in the bushings a lot easier. So, uh, I was talking to Jay about loose trucks, and I was talking to Caesar about loose trucks, and Jay was like, oh, the best thing to do is super glue the bolt, so what I did was I got some super glue, and I did that, but, uh, this is for all the people that ride really loose, and they just got their Black River trucks, or still, they haven't even broke them in, and they still have them, uh, the best thing to do is to tighten them as tight as you can, just almost like all the way down loosen it uh super glue the bolt as loose as possible like literally so it's it's flush so like here's the screw and there's like a little bit part of the um the uh, that not the axle the kingpin so the kingpin and the nut are like flush like right there like that and then you just want to super glue that, and then just put a little drop on, let it dry overnight, or 20 minutes or something like that. It should be good, and uh, your trucks will become a lot looser just by doing that. And then after that, once you start finger boarding, it'll just break in even more and more and more. And um, yeah, so I'm just letting you guys know about that. But other than that... Uh, ever since I've done that to my trucks, Black River trucks have been probably the best thing I've ever, like, got via trucks. But, I mean, I only used to ride Tech Deck trucks, but I'm pretty sure everyone was selling just shaped Tech Deck trucks with, like, <coughs> like rubber bushings and, like, kingpins and shit, but it wasn't really that great. And, uh, I mean, if you don't have the money, it makes sense. I just sold a whole bunch of stuff and then bought them. And, yeah, <laughs> they're pretty legit, though, so maybe the economy will change and um, the euro won't be so much as the dollar, or they'll go down, or, yeah, you go to Germany and get a job there and you buy trucks that way. I don't even know. Your birthday, Christmas, tell me. So... Yeah, that's about it on the trucks. Um, yeah, so thanks. You say you. Yeah, I'm just gonna say thanks to Jay and thanks to Caesar for helping me out with that whole situation because they were like dead tight and I hate tight trucks. I ride super loose. I'm talking about East Coast, like. Hesher loose. Guys that wear dickies and vans. So. Yeah, that's how we rep it, I guess. Even though I'm from San Francisco, that's the West Coast. Well, I'm Chris Craft. I hope you like my little video for those people who have Black River trucks and like loose trucks and they can't seem to break them in as fast as they want them to. Uh, Jay was telling me that they might come out with other bushings, but I mean, if you could just do this, I mean, the super glue isn't permanent if you screw. So if you screw it off, you could easily screw the nut off. So it's kind of like the plastic sealant on the trucks. So yeah, um, yeah, I guess that's about it. I should just stop wasting your time. But before I go, I want to try a trick.
I don't think I'll be able to get it. But <laughs> one day I'll learn them. So I'm Chris Craft. Just showing you something a little bit about your black over checks. And one day I will learn pop shutter kickflips on a fingerboard. Alright then.